à du chiffre, puis on va être capable d'envoyer des corrections, soit correction à l'impact ou It's for sure uh, okay. If um, the identification, the operator uh, go at a very high temperature when they, they engage. Attivazione! Gaggio! Gaggio! Alzo! Alzo! Anticipo! Anticipo! Fuoco! Miss you! fairly new uh, within a newly formed uh, multinational brigade, Latvia. Uh, so everything is uh, starting from, uh, from zero uh, and we have integrated uh, the Italian platoon within our air defense uh, battery. Uh, so it's a multinational battery. Uh, it's also the first time that we deploy outside Canada since uh, the 90s for air defense. Uh, so it's a fairly new challenge for us. We are part of NATO. It's uh, important for us to show our commitment to our uh, allied nation. Uh, I think being part of uh, Latvia, integrating with our culture, integrating with their armed forces is a key, uh, a key milestone for us in order to be uh, being able to face bigger war in the world because uh, we will never be able to face war alone. Uh, we need each other and we need to train with each other in order to be ready. What we've seen in Ukraine has informed us uh, especially for the air defense, about uh, the uh, aerial threat, so which which would be ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, uh, airplane, helicopters, uh, uncrewed aerial system, have been growing immensely, and be, being part of the battle is even more now important. So protecting against an air threat has become more crucial to the success of a mission uh, nowadays. So. For us, the big lesson learned we've been taking from Ukraine is especially defending against an uncrewed aerial system. They have been prominent on the battle, they are a game changer, and we want to make sure we protect our brigade against those in order for the brigade to be successful.